So today we're visiting Cactus Valley. I don't even know if it's any good, but let's find out. The actual Cactus Valley is closed. It's up there. Usually you can buy a ticket to go there and have a look at the cactus, but it's closed and only the nursery section is open. So there's a ton of different cactuses, cacti <laughs> around me and you can buy them and take them home. Look at this one. It's actually so huge. It's the size of my head. So we're just gonna wander around a little bit. I think I'm gonna buy one of these. They're so cute! And it's two dollars or two ringgit for one of them. They also have some picture plants here. Can you guys see? Maybe this is not the best angle. Look at this. Look at this. These are coming home with us today. So it's five for ten ringgit. How exciting! We bought some snacks. So I got some purple ones as well as yellow sweet potato. Hold on, I'll show you properly. I also got this corn. Look, it is a white corn. Hopefully it's not running yellow on camera, but it's meant to be really, really sweet. This was seven ringgit, which is pretty expensive for a cob of corn. A corn on a cob. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try it. Mm. Mmm, it's so sweet and it's like really really fresh. It's like juicy and hopefully I did a corn in between my teeth. This tastes so good. So we're currently at a market and they sell like all the local fruits and veg but I feel like I look like such a tourist <laughs> that they might rip me off maybe but everything looks so yum so we're planning on buying some strawberries and of course the corn sweet potato and veggies and stuff you guys it's 12 3 right now and the oat latte colorway already sold out this is crazy okay i'm trying to buy some so that in case you guys didn't get it i can give some to you so okay let me concentrate i'll be right back okay i don't know whether this is right 1204 and it's sold out this is Guys, this is crazy. This is so crazy. Hey guys, so I had my socks release a few days ago and I just want to say a big thank you to all of you guys who purchased a pair. I couldn't have asked for a better release. It sold out so, so quickly. It sold out within the first three or four minutes. And as you guys saw in the last clip, I was planning on buying a few extra pairs just in case some of you guys couldn't cop. I thought that I could do a giveaway in the future, but I wasn't even able to cop myself. And when I first saw that the oat latte colorway had sold out, I was convinced that it was a glitch. And now that I'm looking back at the footage, when I clicked into the strawberry milk colorway, it had already sold out as well. And I just didn't realize that at the time. It's just so crazy how quickly everything sold out. So yeah, I'm so, so grateful for the opportunity and I couldn't have asked for a better first collab with Apothecary and there is no news on restocking anytime soon because I know quite a few guys have been DMing me and also leaving comments and there are no plans to restock it. It is a limited release so yeah, it sold out really quickly but who knows, maybe in the future I'll be able to work with Apothecary again. And yeah, I just want to say a big, big thank you to Apothecary and all of you guys. And I can't wait to see all your fits that you're going to put together with those socks. Uh, just remember to tag me in Apothecary so that we can repost it. Um, but yeah, anyway guys, I am here today because we have something to unbox. So I mentioned in my last last vlog that I picked up a pair of sneakers from StockX and they're finally here. Obviously, it is a pair of New Balance and it is... The Joe Fresh Goods 990 V3. This sneaker I've been wanting since it released and I entered a few raffles when they dropped but obviously I couldn't get a pair. I also noticed that this was in a lot of people's best sneaker of 2021 and if I had it last year I would definitely have included it but I didn't have it so I'm so happy that I finally got it. I haven't even removed the StockX tag. I literally just got it today and I thought I'd just quickly show you guys so you guys know that this is called the Outside Clothes collab with Joe Fresh Goods. There was also an apparel range that looked really cool. I might pick up the shorts at a later stage. I haven't checked the price just yet. I'm also not too sure what size to get so I will look into that. If you guys have the shorts please let me know but I'm so happy that I can finally add this to my current rotation. 
You guys know that I didn't bring that many sneakers back with me while I'm on holiday here in Malaysia so I am happy that I have one more pair of sneakers to wear and the quality on New Balance sneakers are always so so on point and you guys can see the upper is this really nice suede material. I love the colors that they've chosen as well. So this is obviously inspired by the outdoors and summertime fun. And so you can see there are a lot of earth tones, which is meant to represent the earth. And then the blue is meant to represent the sky. And you also notice on the insole, there is a cloud print as well as the co-branding. When you look at the back of the sneaker, you can see outside clothes embroidered. And then on the heel here, it says JFG, which is obviously Joe Fresh Goods. To some people, this colorway may be a little bit too loud with the blue mesh material, but I personally love it so much. You also notice the N insignia here is reflective. You guys know I love me some reflective details. And I also like that they've included so many sets of spare laces. Look at this. The default lace is in this like light brown color that matches the suede portion over here. And I don't know guys, I don't know which lace I'm gonna go for, um, but I'll maybe do a few options and see which one I prefer. At some stage, I will definitely show you guys the fit I put together with these sneakers. I have no plans of going out this week, only because the cases are so high here in Malaysia, so I'm trying to be extra cautious because I am returning back to Melbourne next week and I don't want to, you know, catch the Rona and not be able to go back. But there's also so many places that I want to visit before I go back, so... I don't know guys, but I guess it's better to be safe. But anyway, back to these sneakers. I also want to show you guys the detail on the tongue. It has this sort of waffle kind of texture, which I think looks really cool. I cannot say enough good things about the quality on New Balance sneakers. They're super on point. I haven't even tried these on just yet, but I already know they're going to be so nice and comfy. And also, another pair of New Balance that I really want is the protection pack or the refined future i keep calling it protection pack even though they changed the name to refined future i'm really keen on the rain cloud colorway and i think they're going to be restocking it on the new balance australia site this friday i could be wrong i saw a post on sneaker freaker i'm pretty sure and i set a reminder for myself on my phone just so i don't miss the drop but i've never been successful at copying anything on the new balance website so I don't know, but we still have to try. Because they are restocking it, I'm hoping that the resale price will go down a little in case I can't cop it for retail this time around. The last time that I checked the resale price for the rain cloud colorway is so high, especially in my size. And I was tossing between the two whether I should get the refined future or these ones here. And I ended up going for this because I feel like the price point was a little bit more reasonable. And from what I know with the refined future, they will be releasing it in a few more colorways this year. So I thought maybe I'll try and go for the new colorway. So I was so happy to hear that they will be restocking the like original three colorways. So I am going to try for sure, but I'm not feeling <laughs> that confident. Um, but yeah, anyway guys, I thought I would just jump on here quickly to show you guys my new pickup. And I'm wearing the same t-shirt again. <laughs> Hopefully at some stage, I will be able to hit up the Atmos store because I still really want the round two Atmos like t-shirts and stuff. I think they look really cute. And there's this brown t-shirt which I think would go perfectly with these sneakers. So that is my like fit idea or like the vision <laughs> it's not a vision okay that's just what i have in mind so we will see obviously if i go i'll definitely bring you guys along with me but at this stage there are no plans to go anywhere like today i just spent all day at home and then i was in my room watching breaking bad i can't believe i never watched breaking bad when it first came out like i'm really really late to the game with a lot of shows um so i've been into that lately i also watched the tinder swindler and that was such a good show i made beatrice watch it as well because i'm like you need to watch it so that we can discuss this because at the ending it just made me really mad i mean i'm not gonna say anything in case you guys haven't seen it but it's really really good and it's just crazy to think that there are people out there okay doing stuff like that that's not cool <laughs> but anyway back to these sneakers 
Let me know in the comments below if you already have a pair and what you think about them and whether you think they deserve to be in the top 10 sneakers of 2021 because like I said, a lot of people included it and I absolutely love this and it did not disappoint me at all. It is exactly what I imagined it to be and yeah, New Balance has been killing it so I'm looking forward to more collabs and more releases this year but for now, um, I think I'm gonna have dinner soon. We've been eating dinner super super early. My parents have dinner at like 5 30 or 6 o'clock and I'm slowly adjusting to that schedule as well so I get hungry when it's that early. So I'm just gonna go have dinner and then yeah I'm really hoping there's something a little bit more exciting in this vlog so I will see you guys tomorrow. So I just got a parcel from Human Made. I bought some stuff quite a few weeks ago and it finally arrived so I thought I'll sit down and open it together with you guys. I'm also wearing my course Human Made tee and I still have a few more pieces from the Cause Made collab that dropped at the end of last year but you guys know that I bought it and shipped it to my brother's address in Singapore and the parcels are still there so hopefully at some stage I'll be able Able to get them because it's a hoodie a tote bag and also the cushion and the cushion I think would look so cute in my apartment in Melbourne but I am probably running out of space I do like to buy a lot of random stuff I'm realizing now that I like to buy rugs and cushions and I have nowhere to put all these rugs but I keep wanting to buy more rugs but anyway guys let's get to opening this parcel I think it took about two weeks to get to me from the human made side which isn't too bad and i really can't remember how much i pay but as usual it comes in like this cute little folder and then inside look at this you guys are gonna think i'm ridiculous <laughs> for buying these things. I also have a few more things that I wanted on the human made side but it wouldn't ship to Malaysia because they are like liquid products because I wanted to buy I think it was like the toothpaste and then I could be wrong but I think they also have hand wash or hand sanitizers. One of those things. I really really like buying stuff like that but I only got these two little things. They come in these like pouches and in here is another little dust bag that says human made and they're actually two little rings they had them in a bunch of different colors i don't think they were that expensive it was 2200 yen and i don't remember how much that works out to be in australian dollars but i thought it would just be cute like accessory wise and I feel like things like that are definitely up my alley, let me show you. So this one here just says human made in red. I was also planning on getting the phone case but they sold out in like the size of my phone. So this is my current phone case. But back to these rings, I ended up buying two of them, one red and one pink. I almost bought a third one in green as well but then I was like, why do I need <laughs> so many of these human made rings? They are adjustable. I mean, there's nothing much to these rings. It's pretty much just a human made branding that I bought them for. But I just thought they'll be quite cute. No, I mean, the quality isn't as bad as I thought. I was really, really thinking there would be those really like cheap looking little rings, but they're quite cute, right? Or is it just me? I don't know, okay? I'm realizing now that I like to buy a bunch of random stuff and this is definitely the kind of thing that I like to buy. So I'm happy that I got them and they're finally here. So I guess you guys will see me <laughs> wearing these rings once in a while. I'm not wearing my Supreme Tiffany & Co like heart earring because I feel like they would go really well together with the rings. Um, but yeah, that was a very quick random unopening, unopening? <laughs> what does that even mean? Opening of a parcel. But anyway guys, I'm gonna end the vlog here because I don't want it to be too long. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. As usual, I'll list and link everything that I talked about in the description bar below in case you guys are curious. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. And I hope you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys really, really soon. Bye!